So I've been wearing my Keen Targa Heat 2 boots for a little over two years now, and I think I'm finally ready to give them a review. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just wanted to let you know that I bought these. They were not given to me, so uh, they're mine to review. Yeah, I bought these about two, well, a little over two years ago, and I introduced them shortly after getting them in a video where I had a bunch of new kits. Quite a long video. I'll put a link at the end if you're interested, because there are some other pieces of kit in there that I, I did kind of uh, show what I had new. Um, so what I wanted to do with this review is not so much go over all the technical specs for the shoes, but uh, go over a few different things. First off, why did I choose these shoes? How have they served me? And the big question will end up is, would I buy them again? So, of course, I'm going to leave you links to the Keen website where you can find out more about the boots in the first place if you're interested in and looking further at them. So, uh, why did I choose them? Well, I did spend a lot of time, honestly, spend a lot of time looking to replace the boots I had. The boots I had, I'd had for, I don't know, seven or eight years. Uh, they were leaking. I was patching them up. It was time. It was time to get a new pair of boots. And to be quite honest, they never did fit the way that I would like to them. I was wearing band-aids on my toes and things like that, to, and heels to prevent hot spots and blisters. So I was looking for something that wouldn't cause any problems for my feet. Now, it is my feet that really, and it should be your feet as well, that drive your decision on what boots you're going to get. So let me describe what my issue was, and maybe it'll apply to you, and then you can decide if this is the right boot for you. So, uh, as many of you know, I was a police officer for 36 years, and I spent a good amount of that time walking the beat at least the first 10 years. And in addition, for 40 years, I did long distance running. And those two things alone can play havoc with your feet. Back in the day, police officers weren't issued good boots that made them their, you know, well supportive to their feet. We had old flat bottom leather soled shoes is what we had. Uh, yeah my feet flattened, they widened, and I developed what's known as heel spurs or plantar fasciitis. That's the tendon on the bottom of the foot gets inflamed from not having enough support, sometimes from injury. Uh, the treatment of the day, long before physio was a thing that could have worked for me, was to simply inject cortisone into the heel to take the inflammation down at the site of attachment to the heel bone. It works. It was painful, but it works. Uh, the issue is it came back. The inflammation came back. I had to have another cortisone shot, each of my heels, and then a third cortisone shot, and on my left heel, a fourth cortisone shot. Uh, what we know today is that's not a good idea for a number of reasons. One, it usually does not resolve the issue long term. The other thing is cortisone is not a great thing to be putting into your body unless you absolutely need it. For my heel, it was actually eaten away at the attachment point. I didn't know this and I don't know if the doctors did at the time. It ate away at the attachment point and all the fat pads on the bottom of my heel. And those fat pads are there for a reason. That's nature's shock absorber on the bottom of your heel. Uh, okay, so that what that did is really messed up the heels of both of my feet. I ended up with no shock absorption in them and very narrow because there just wasn't any mass, any fat to them. I also developed wide feet. So what I needed was a boot that would have a wide enough toe box to support my wide feet and not touch my toes, yet still a narrow enough heel to grab onto it so I wouldn't be walking out of my shoes. And uh, when I looked at the Keens, that's what, in fact, I found. So I'll give you just a brief overview of these shoes and, uh, um, yeah, and then we'll talk about how well they served me. So I, they do come with a, an anatomic liner inside the shoe. That I removed because I wear custom orthotics, which are designed to correct my foot in the shoe. So they went in well. That's always a question is, will the orthotics fit in the boot? Yes, they'll fit in my, at least my orthotics fit in my Keens boots. So the key features, and again, if you want to look for more uh, later, you can. This is a mid-rise boot. There are taller boots, and of course, there are shoe-like boots, but this is a mid-rise. This is the minimum I'd recommend for anybody who hikes with a backpack in rough areas. You need or should have that ankle support, and they're well padded around the ankles. There is a rubberized toe cap that does extend up over the top, which has been great because stubbing your toe isn't fun, and this at least will protect your toes from stubbing and give you some purchase if you're actually climbing up over rocks. 
I'll talk about the sole in a minute, but I want to show you there is a shank, a hard plastic shank in the base of the heel, straight through to the forefoot, but it stops here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, because although it is very rigid in the back, it is very flexible in the forefoot. That's both good and bad, and we'll talk about that in a second. They ha Keen has their own version of Gore-Tex Gore lining the boot. It, they refer to it as Keen Dry. I can say that they have been waterproof from the beginning and are still waterproof, at least up to the top of the boot, obviously. There are places that my other boots leaks were right through the tongue of the boot. This is an attached tongue except for the very last portion of it. So right up to about this point, then they will stay waterproof even to this day. How long that remains, I'm not sure. It is a new buck or split leather upper. I have done nothing for the maintenance of these boots, and that's significant. Nothing other than brush mud and dirt off and things like that. I haven't put any kind of a sealer on it or any silicone or wax or anything else on it. Now the sole, the sole, and I'll give you a close-up, has a bi-directional lug and they're spaced wide enough apart so that I get really good purchase on rocks going up and going down and when they're wet, which is important because some soles won't grab onto rocks as well when they're wet. They're far enough spaced that they will, won't pick up and hold on to mud and debris, but release it the next time I step, it opens them up and, they, and it drops out. Uh, downside of them is it's a fairly soft rubber compound. It's not a hard, hard rubber, and the sole is not replaceable. So once this wears out, the boot is shot. You're going to have to get new boots. I am seeing wear in the center of them, but after two years and roughly 1,200 kilometers walking, um, that's, that's expected. I don't expect these to last forever. If you're looking for a boot with a replaceable sole, then you are going to have to look at other brands. But I have done that myself, and I know as good as they are, they cost significantly more than the Keens do. So, what do I think about the performance of these boots? Well, when I transitioned out of the boots that I had into these, it was almost like taking a pair of work boots and going into a pair of slippers. These were very lightweight by comparison, very easy to walk in with that flexible forefoot. However, they were a little soft on the bottom, and what I mean by that is if I stepped on a sharp rock or a stick, it didn't come through the boot, so that's, I don't want to say that, but I could feel it in the bottom of my foot. Not painfully so, but I was aware that the, the point of the rock was pressing through on my foot. Will that become an issue over long term? Possibly, and that's something I'm going to have to watch for. Uh, other than that, if you have watched any of my videos, you'll know just how rough an area we are in here. There's a lot of exposed rock, a lot of up and down, a lot of exposed roots. Not that they're hard on boots, but it makes it tricky for walking. It's the rock that really does wear away at your boots. And it, while it has worn away at the boots, it has not been excessively hard on these boots. These boots have stood up well. The only thing that I can say where to look at wear, other than the fact they're a little bit dirty, is right here, and I'll show you this where the rubber toe cap runs up over the top, there is a little bit of a space starting to develop right in here. And to be honest, I don't know if that space was there when I got the boots. It was for this review that I started looking at it, realized there was a bit of a space developing. Uh, no water getting in, so I don't think it has breached the waterproof liner to this, but I'm likely going to put a little rubber cement in there just to prevent it. I don't want a place where sticks can catch or eventually water could work its way in. Honestly, that and the fact that they are wearing down a little bit in the center right here, that's the only wear that I am having on these boots. So, a couple of questions. Would, well, here's the, the big question. Would I buy these again? Well, let me qualify this by saying I bought the sandals and I bought the winter boots. So yes, I would buy Keen boots again. Would I buy the Target Heed too? Not so sure. I think I would look at the next level up in terms of uh, not so much durability because that, that's a matter of the individual boot, but the construction of the boot. I think I might look at something that's a little bit more heavy duty, more less flex in the shoe, less, uh, maybe a thicker sole on the bottom of it, and the reason is, is I carry way too heavy backpacks, mostly because of YouTube videos. But those, back, those heavier backpacks, you should be wearing a heavier boot. The rough country that I'm in, you should be wearing a heavier boot. These are a great light duty to medium duty boot. 
not a heavy duty boot. So would I buy another Keen boot? Without question, without hesitation. Would I buy the Keen Targa He 2? Maybe not, not because it's not a good boot, but because I think I need something that's a little bit more heavy duty. Oh, by the way, when it comes to size, normally I wear an 11 shoe, running shoe, street shoes, those type of things. In these boots, when I tried them on with wool socks, always wear wool socks, occasionally wool socks and a polyester liner sock, definitely in the winter, of course. But when I tried them on, I, what, they were long enough in an 11, but I chose to go to an 11 and a half because I wanted the expansion room in my boots for long days on the trail when your feet do swell and just a little bit more room if I decided to go up to a bit heavier sock as well. It was a decision that I'm glad I made. I will do that again. Go to the next half size up just to give myself a little bit more room. It did not affect the tightness around the heel of the, of the boot at all. And uh, yeah, so that's what I would say on sizing. True to size, but recommend a half size larger. Okay, that's all I really wanted to say. Again, the, the specifications for the shoes, I'll let you look up on the website of Keen, which I will link in the video description below. I would invite you to leave any comments, any questions. Maybe you've had these boots or other boots similar to these that you could recommend because eventually I'm going to have to replace these. So, uh, you know, I will look at other brands, but likely I'll end up with Keen's again. Yeah, put any questions or comments in the, in the question section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.